Rock and roll, this song was recorded on the 11th of October 1968. Rock and roll. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings, learn to fly. All your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. Singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Explaining how to play Blackbird, Blackbird is going to be quite difficult, really. I, mean, I kind of see it in two bits, really. The verse, right, and the middle bit. The verse. G. <laughs> but you're blocking the B string and the bottom E string. And then you're blocking the A string and the B string. And it's an open A with a C note. You're doing an E minor 7, you're only playing the A string and the B string, so you're going and then you slide it up to the 12th fret. By right, all the time you're going, you're keeping that G string going with that finger, so you're going. the G chord really, you know, an open G chord. So there's the first bit of it. And we're singing in the dead of night. Now the next bit kind of complicated to explain as well. And so again you're on the A string, third fret of the A string. What you're going to do is you're going to go Right, so in order to do that, you're doing that on the top bit, so I suppose you're going, right, okay, so on the B string you've got on the fifth fret, with your little finger, on the A string you've got your finger on the third fret. Right, so you move one fret on the A string, always one fret on the A string. Well, you're going to the E string, that G note, so you're going, and then you do the same thing up there. Right, then that's like the E minor 7 shape, but on the 7th fret. And then you move that finger down one. So. 
right then you're on there again, which is like a, a finger on the fifth fret on the A string and the seventh fret on the B string. Again, there we go, there's that chord again, which is a fourth fret on the A string, third fret on the E string. Right then it's that chord, the first thing, the third fret on the A string, fifth fret on the B string. Then you move it down, third fret on the A string, fourth fret on the B string. E minor 7, A7, C with the D bass, G. So it's a bit complicated, there's probably better ones out there where you can see the fingers clearly and stuff and you know how to play it, you know what I mean? But effectively, I kind of call that the first bit, you know. It kind of repeats little bits of it, you know, throughout the song. If you listen carefully, you'll figure it out, you know. So that's the verse. The other bit, I think, that's the main bit, is the, the, the middle bit, you know, blackbird fly, you know, that... Fret, 8th fret and 10th fret, so 8th fret on the A string, 10th fret on the B string, so 7th fret, like the E minor 7 shape on the 7th fret, and you say E minor 7 shape on the 5th fret, so it's, and it's those two, I kind of think it's two frets apart, and then down two frets apart, so it's like two frets apart on the A on the on the eighth fret, two frets two frets apart, one fret apart, one fret apart, two frets apart, two frets apart, two frets apart. Yeah. So I'm going to go in eight fret seven five three one three. He says that this one's Feridi, which I always kind of like thought that was a strange thing, and I figured out it was a, it was actually an outtake from, from not at the time, not in 1968. It was a, it was an outtake of a, of a version that he did for a, Give My Regards to Broadway, Broad Street, Broad Street. <laughs> I think that was what it was called. Um, and there we go. Anyway, it was called by the Beatles. At Paul McCartney as the Beatles on the 11th of October 1968. There's Blackbird. Rock and roll. <laughs> 